Hi folks, Larry Wingett here, back with another episode of Ask Larry Anything, the YouTube series where you can ask me anything in the world you'd like to know, and I would be happy to give your question a shot. All you have to do is write me at info at LarryWingett.com. All right, today's question. This one, I get a lot of this kind of question. I really do. Uh, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see me deal with uh, this kind of stuff all the time. Normally, I just wad this stuff up and throw it in the trash, but this one just hit me as particularly funny. So here it is. Hey, Wingnut. Isn't that hilarious? This guy was able to take my name, Winget, and turn it into Wingnut. He's so funny. I've never heard that before. Hey, Wingnut, who the hell do you think you are? Well, first of all, that's a stupid question. Obviously, I start every one of these videos with, this is Larry Winget. I'm pretty sure I'm Larry Winget. That's who the hell I think I am. But that's not his Ask Larry Anything question. You have gotten rich selling common sense to idiots. Well, you are the idiot. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you really cared about people, you would give your advice away. You are everything I despise. What makes you an expert anyway? Signed, Satan. 623. All right, I'll start there. <laughs> Satan 623. Hey, buddy, were there already 622 Satans ahead of you, and you were stuck being Satan 623? Here's what's funny when I get these kind of emails is people always assign themselves names. Like, I, I get emails all the time from Jesus. It's nice to get an email from Jesus, by the way. They're never very nice, though. I can't imagine Jesus saying the things these people say to me. Uh, there's some bozo on YouTube that calls himself Nosferatu. Ooh, that's scary. No picture of himself, by the way. No real identity. One of those guys I talk about that has internet balls who only is uh, comfortable going on anonymously and talking trash to people. Kind of like good old Satan623 here. Hey, Satan623. If you really want to give yourself a name that accurately describes yourself, why don't you call yourself Asshat Number One? I think that would be a better name for you. I'm just going to call you Asshat Number One. So there we go. Let's get right to your question, though. What makes you an expert anyway? I have never claimed to be an expert. The only thing I've really ever been an expert at is screwing up and then learning from my mistakes. I am good at learning from my mistakes because I don't want to repeat them, then all I do is share what I've learned with other people. And pretty much it does always come down to common sense. Like you said, you have gotten rich selling common sense to idiots. You know, I've done all right, but I don't apologize for that. I've worked my butt off for a lot of years to get to where I am. Don't ask for me to apologize for that. I am not sorry for it. I am darn proud of it. I got here honestly, through integrity, hard work, and being good at what I do. Uh, you say I sell it to idiots. Well, if they were truly idiots, they wouldn't buy my books. It seems to me like the people that buy my books are smart, or they know they have an issue, and they've gone to other people in the past, and their ideas haven't worked, so they're giving my idea a try. Uh, all I've ever said is give my idea a try. If it works for you, good. If it doesn't work for you, we'll throw the book away and go find somebody else to learn from. That's fine with me. Uh, but you are the idiot. Okay, that's fine. Asshat number one. Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not ashamed of myself at all. I'm pretty proud of myself. If you really cared about people, you would give your advice away. All right, let's talk about that. In business, we provide a service or value to people, and then they determine whether the service or value has enough value to them for them to share their money. I'm very proud of the fact and very honored by the fact and very grateful to the people who decided that the service that I offer has enough value that they are willing to share some money with me to buy my books, my speeches, my video learning systems, my audio stuff, my virtual training stuff, whatever it is they purchased, I feel honored that they have agreed to share their money with me in exchange for the words and so-called wisdom and value that I provide. That's how business works, buddy. You provide a service to people, and then you are compensated according to how, according to how much service you provide. As my mentor Jim Rohn used to say, people who provide five dollars worth of, who make five dollars an hour provide five dollars worth of service and it takes them an hour to do it. 
People who make $5,000 an hour provide $5,000 worth of service, and it takes them an hour to do it. The difference is not the hour, it's the amount of service you put in that hour, and we are all compensated based on how much service or value we put in that hour. If you are a person whose job is to say, do you want fries with that? Well, that is not going to pay as much as a person to say, tell me again what that sounds like, and I'll try to identify what's wrong with your car. Or, tell me where it hurts, and I'll try to diagnose your problem, your physical problem. You see, the difference between a person who uh, says you want fries with that and a skilled auto mechanic or a doctor, it takes the same amount of time to say the words, but the value is much different. So, the fact that someone provides value or service and gets something in exchange for that in terms of money, that's just business. And the fact that I've been good at my business offends you, asshat number one. So, uh, if, if you're a person who uh, feels like uh, good old Satan 623 and you want to be Satan 624, uh, I will call you asshat number two. Please write me a, a note. And if it's funny like this one, I would be happy to answer your question. For the rest of you, remember this. Regardless of what people call you, somebody's always going to hate you for taking a, st a stand. I say take the stand. And remember, you are compensated on the amount of value and service you bring to other people's lives. Never apologize for the fact that you get compensated for the service you provide. Hey, this one's been fun. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching.